Where's my collection? Where's my collection? Oh. In today's video, I bought a blind Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys? We're back with another blind. Okay, maybe I'm gonna take this thing off for the intro. Blind Yu-Gi-Oh collection opening. I bought another collection and I'm not exactly sure what's inside. As you guys saw, I was wandering around aimlessly. I was really scared I was gonna hit my shins on something, but fortunately I didn't. Before we actually get into the video, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a set of Duels of the Roses Magnet Warriors. Yes, the whole promo set. They're so beautiful. You just can't beat the original promos. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item from this collection. And uh, what do you think it's worth? And Speaking of giveaways, I've announced all the giveaways up to just a couple of days ago, so go check out the YouTube community tab. I've shipped out everyone who's messaged me except two people at the moment, so I know there are some of you guys out there that need to respond. And then there's some that are unclaimed, so go check them out. I want to make sure we get those shipped out to all you guys. Let's get into the video. All right, so first off, we have a very taped up Silver Tempest Elite Trainer uh, little box thing. So I'm going to open this up, see, I'm assuming there's cards in here and I'll skip this part for you. Okay, there's a giveaway here. I already did a giveaway, so just to make it easy, I'm gonna save this giveaway for another video because a lot of times when I do these giveaways later, I forget to add them because they're like not at the giveaway portion of the video. So I'm gonna move this to a different video. We'll just save it in this packaging so you know it's from this video for probably another video I record later today. Okay, this actually looked like nice stuff, so I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna go through this uh, Ziploc bag first, which I mean, <laughs> nice stuff. I mean, if, you know, speaking of, let's go. We got the Pequeno Moth right at the top. All right, let's see, we have, Okay, it could be a lot of Pequeno Moths. Let's see. Oh, it's a full... Oh, Cousin Moth! The Cocoon and the Grande. Cocoon, finally getting some love. Nobody ever sends that one. Very nice. The full line of Moth. And then, of course, the Cousin. Then it looks like we have some nice cards here. So we've got, like, Dark Magician. These are not, like, huge value. These are, like, a few dollars each. So, like, you know, $3 card. don't know Dark Magicians at the moment. I know this is, like, 6 bucks usually. I don't know about that one. That's from Syac. That's the set I... Haven't sold a lot of cards from overall. We did originally. There's the Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Absolute zero, of course, because the Edison is worth a little bit of money. We've got some Sky Strike. Sky Striker Azalea it was one of the short prints. So that's it was like 20 bucks. I don't think it's had a reprint, so it probably still is. Blackluster Soldier. We've got Despian. Boxy is nice. Spirit Dragon Duality. Labyrinth Labyrinth. Very good stuff. Pressured Planet. Kestir Theosis. That was like a sixty card when it sixty dollar card when it came out. Small world terraformings. Terraforming surprisingly not a very expensive card anymore. Um, I guess is it banned at this point or is it still one? I don't know. Maybe there's just a lot of prints at this point. Bingo Machine Go is actually still expensive surprisingly. Uh, Diviner of the Herald, and then we have a Armed Dragon level two. That's an ultimate rare, so that's like a cheap ultimate rare, but even cheap ultimate rare out of OTS is still worth like 15 bucks, which isn't bad. Uh, Diviner of the Herald, we got Arian, Time Wizard, very nice, M-R-D-E-N from the 25th anniversary. We got the ultimate rare, nice, from du uh, Dimension of Chaos, not Duelist Chaos. Duelist Chaos, that's it. New idea, Konami, I'm sure they'll come out with a Duelist Chaos at some point. They mix up all the names they've already used. Blue Eyes Chaos, we got the Blue Eyes Jet Track. Wait, okay, I thought that was it. I got this like mixed up with this one. I was like, oh, it's Starlight Rare. No, that's not. Sage with Eyes of Blue, Ash Blossoms. Just very nice stuff, very nice stuff. All right, then we have some top loaders, which are taped up. I got a sneak peek of one of the cards, which was a pretty nice card. So I knew that these were gonna be pretty decent. Okay, I don't know if there's an order. I'm just gonna go. We have, oh, there we go. Okay, Starlight Rare, that's that's pretty nice. That's a nice card right there, okay. Next card we have, oh, the Red Eyes Black Dragon Ghost Rare. This is worth a lot more, actually. I never pulled this one. The Red Eyes Black Dragon is like a $60 card, which is crazy. This, I think, I don't, I haven't seen it in a while, but I, it's definitely more than 60. Like even the bats starlights are more than that blue eyes white dragon here's the one i saw we got to get all this tape off all right blue eyes that dude that thing is super shifted look how far to, there's so much just nothing right there that's crazy that is a super shifted blue eyes and then we have two more cards here it seems we have the triple tactics thrust that is a very expensive one and we have another thrust okay so double thrusting that's a good start to this collection hilariously i think that was a full collection that i bought and then i mixed it with another one so this is actually a two collection video mixed into one i told you it was blind guys the only thing i knew was this card so when i saw this i was like oh wait this is a different collection all right our first item for the second collection this does contain some sealed product first item is a first edition cybernetic horizon booster box so he even put this in a little protective sleeve which is 
an interesting choice for a cybernetic horizon booster box but hey breach the horizon you got to do what you got to do then we've got a starter deck code breaker uh structure deck that's cool we have a few blisters here such as pendulum evolution eh not great we have a destiny soldiers that's actually pretty cool i haven't opened that in a while uh infinity chaser is pretty cool and then some duels back dimensional guardians so these are completely terrible you know um you know not too excited about those these on the other hand i am kind of excited about destiny soldiers i opened a booster box of this very very early on the channel it's pretty fun actually malicious out of there is pretty expensive then we have the playstation game the beginning of destiny this is definitely open so it has been you oh whoa the promo cards are in here cool What's the beginning of Destiny? What are what the promos are? That's pretty sweet. All right, so this never got open. So PlayStation, what, PlayStation 2? Wow, we're talking about a throwback here. What are the cards? It should show. Okay, I've never really even seen these before, so that's pretty cool. Memory card for PS2, 120 kilobytes. This thing came with a memory card? No, okay, maybe not. Maybe that's not what that meant. What does this mean right here? All right, we have another bag here, a mystery bag. So I, I literally had no idea what was in it. I mean, he, sh he sent me the stuff, and I was just like, yeah, it looks good. I didn't even really look at it. This is cards. Okay, we're looking at cards here, guys. We got some graded cards, actually. Okay, and then here's a sealed promo pack. Oh, no, it's not. It's from the promo pack. Blue Flame Swordsman, very cool. We have a, here's a promo. This is the uh, Lost Art Edaton and the Utopia from the Mega Ten. That's pretty nice. Got one more. We have the Dark dark adidas whoa oh okay that's a big one i've never had one of these before people offered me these a lot and they were always at the max value so i was just like no thank you but that is cool i didn't know that was in here then we have garnisi elephantis slight fade pretty cool not like crazy fade but slight fade Let's see yeah it's, it's like medium i guess we have a seven tools of the bandit kind of the same area of fade there these are unlimited then there's a solemn judgment very nice a elemental hero neos from the 10 one of my favorites uh 15 price tag on it probably about right there's a another mega 10 promo cool there's a oh somebody asked me about one of these the other day they wanted the uh the neos ironically i think they were like they were gonna buy one of them and then they asked about the neos as well and i said i didn't have it and then they never answered that's instagram for you they just will not answer is that damage down there wait a second no okay that was just the top loader okay cool stuff right there han solo sleeve very cool uh, Neo Space Ultimate Rare, beautiful. We've got a Megaton Neos. We've got the Spirit of Neos. Ultimate Rare is coming up. Water Dragon. Looks like it does have some edge wear on it, but very beautiful Ultimate Rare card. Here's a big one from Go Format. Suki Yomi. That's an amazing Ultimate Rare as well. Yeah, that's classic. And here's a big one. Elemental Hero fans. Stratos. You gotta love it, man. It is just such a beautiful card. Don't need it for my Edison deck because I already have one, but still very cool. A, ooh, this is a foreign crush card virus. Very cool. Italian, actually. Well, it's got a big crease in there, I think. Or maybe, maybe? I can't tell. It's the top loader. I'll take it out later. And then a Blue Eyes Tune. This is a Japanese. It's from Premium Pack? P5. I don't know. Or maybe that's something else. I'm not totally sure. Now we have some graded cards. Here's a Pokemon card. A Venus, a base set Venusaur? That's pretty cool. Base Unlimited. Wow, that's actually pretty sick. I do have the entire base set Unlimited. Uh, if you guys remember quite a while ago, I spent $4,500 on a full Unlimited base set. It went down to about a thousand. So yeah, I lost a ton of money doing that. So that was, I was like, all right, I got to calm down. No more Pokemon. That was just absolutely destroyed me. It was definitely not worth it. So this is cool though. That's cool. Uh, next card, another Pokemon is a Bulbasaur. So that goes well. I think I have, do I have an Ivysaur from ha Hunter Haas? I think he sent me was it an ivy sword? It might have been a bulbasaur. I think it was an ivy sword. I might have the full line now. All right, a couple Yu Gi Oh! Celtic Guardian of the Noble Arms. That's an interesting one. Uh, it is a Celtic Guardian, so I guess that's why he graded it. The next one is a Wadapon. Is this from like a mystery box or something? What in the world is this? What is this? Is this a fake card? Ultra Premium Collection. Is this like a metal card or something? Somebody give me some update on this card. I'm really confused right now. This feels like a, a fake card. It looks pretty legit though. But that happens a lot with Pokemon. I feel like I feel like this is fake. It has to be fake. Has to be fake. The back the back looks fake. All right, one more card in the graded category. I don't know what that was. We have a oh cool Shiba War Tarot PSA 10. So a Japanese version. That is a an eclectic a collected collection of graded cards and finally we have one more thing in this collection video i told you this is a blind collection guys there's some random stuff in here okay looks like these are blister packs never mind there's a binder in here as well this is not the last thing okay blister packs are savage strike that's pretty cool uh raging tempest that's also pretty cool these are pretty old actually i mean they're, they're they have some some years on them there's a first edition flames of destruction open a lot of unlimited of that uh, soul fusion it's a good little 
little collection here from Walmart circuit break or maybe not Walmart it just feels like a Walmart collection we have uh extreme force these are like they've been, throughout the years they've been available at Walmart we have code of the duelist okay we're getting worse we're getting worse uh, maximum crisis first dead. that's really cool uh cybernetic horizon uh spirit warriors has the thing so maybe it is Walmart and uh hidden summoners also very nice so all different so that's fun all right i did a quick run through it is mostly low-end cards in the binder so nothing we need to show here this has been an interesting video for sure i had no idea one we had two collections in here and two that it was just like a complete random variety of stuff so it's always fun to open those up if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure to enter that giveaway in the comments shout out to tone Fo show dax or tomato juice puffins of doom ernesto dn america doyster supreme stage 21 cj Liu, going 62 Yu Gi Oh unboxed in a tie show ian moose to Junior Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.